today I'll be talking to you about earning and managing money, in particular uh, calculating your wage using an hourly rate, overtime rates and allowances. So when you're working a wage you are usually rostered for a certain amount of hours and if you work more than that you occasionally earn an overtime rate. So uh, overtime rates are generally higher than your normal wage and common rates are time and a half which is one and a half times your normal rate and double time so that would be twice as much as you normally earn per hour <coughs> excuse me uh, special allowances some workers depending on their working conditions can earn an extra allowance so for example if you are a construction worker and there are dangerous conditions you may earn an allowance which is usually a uh, either one-off bonus or in a construction worker's case it might be an add-on or addition to his hourly rate. Uh, casual work is when you work for a set amount of hours and you get a set amount for each hour of work you do. Advantages of casual work are working hours are flexible and pay rate is often higher. So what this means is they can ask you to work for certain hours, which is uh, why that's flexible, and your pay rate is often higher because you do not have a stable job. What that means is they may not ask you to work, so if you are working in a department store, they can ask you to work for certain hours, and that is part of the disadvantages, which is down here. You may lose your job when you are not needed. So this is more of an on-demand basis. Another disadvantage is there is no superannuation, sick or holiday pay. Here is an example. Connor works a 35 hour week, so I'll just go ahead and underline that, and is paid $18.25 per hour. Any overtime is paid at time and a half. Connor wants to earn enough overtime to earn more than $800 each week. What is the minimum number of hours over time that Connor will need to do work? Well, we need to first calculate his normal weekly wage. So 35 hours of working multiplied by his $18.25 will give you his normal wage. So on the calculator now, 35 times by 18.25 will give you approximately $638 and 75 cents. Now he wants to earn more than $800 so he must work some overtime and his overtime rate is paid at time and a half so we must then find out what his overtime rate is so we get his $18.25 you multiply that by one and a half and you will get approximately oh sorry exactly $27 37 and a half cents. Now, uh, we wanted to earn more than $800, so we get 800, and we're going to take away what he already earns in a week. So, this is, uh, sorry, $164.25. Now, that is how much extra he needs to earn, and this is his overtime rate. So, to find out how many hours he needs to work, we get his amount that he needs and we divide it by his hourly rate to find the amount of hours he needs to work. And we will get exactly 6 hours. So that would be the minimum number of hours over time that Connor will need to work to earn more than $800 each week. Max works in a shop and earns $21 per hour. I will underline this. So again, it says per hour, so this is his wage at the normal rate. Each week he works 15 hours, I'll underline that, at the normal rate and 4 hours at time and a half. We need to calculate Max's weekly wage. So let's just put this to the side. And here's some paper. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll just write down some of that information again. 
He earns $21.60 per hour. Sorry. And his overtime rate is time and a half. So to calculate his weekly wage, we must first, sorry, it's 15 hours. So he works 15 hours at his rate of $21.60. And that will give you $453.60. So that would be his weekly wage, or is it? Well, we forgot his overtime. Well, he works four hours of overtime. So I'm going to times that by one and a half, and again by his hourly rate. Sorry, that does not equal that. Uh, 15 times by 21.6 will be 324. Uh, this here would be 129 dollars and 60 cents. So together would be his weekly wage and together we will have $453.60. So I've broken this part up into two. I found his normal working hours here and his overtime rates here and I added them together to find his weekly wage. Moving on to part B, uh, he aims to increase his weekly wage. So I'll put it back in. He aims to increase his weekly wage to $540 by working extra hours at the normal rate. How many extra hours must Max work? So the key word here was extra hours at the normal rate. And he wants to earn $540. So writing this down, we need to earn, sorry, we need to find the difference. So he wants to earn $540. We're going to first take away his normal wage, 453 and 60 cents, and that will be $86 and 40 cents extra. Now he wants to work at his normal rate, so we will again divide this extra amount by his normal rate, $21 and 60 cents, and we'll get four hours. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how many extra hours he must work to earn $540. Now moving on to part C, Max's rate of pay is increased by 5%. What is his new hourly rate for normal hours? Well, we must simply increase his rate by 5%. So $21.60 and to increase by 5%, we need to multiply by 105%. Now, there is a percentage button on your calculator, or you can use zero, oh sorry, 1.05. And doing this in your calculator, you should end up with $22.68. So this is his new hourly rate for his normal hours. Now moving on to part D, what will be Max's new weekly wage assuming he maintains the extra working hours? So. We learnt that in part B, he must work for an additional four hours. His new rate is $22.68. So let's work this out, shall we? We have his 15 normal hours, and we will have his additional four hours at his normal rate. So I'll multiply this by $22.68. And he also has his overtime, which is four hours at time and a half of his rate. So this is how we will calculate his new weekly wage. Putting them together, we will get 19 times by 22.68 plus four times one and a half is six times 22.68, which is $567. This would be his new weekly wage. Thanks for listening.